right, we're here today with Nikki and we're showing you how to do a squat correctly and safely when you've got a disc bulge and then how to prevent um, any disc injury. So with Nikki, she's got a current disc bulge and when she squats, we've got to make sure she doesn't go, go below what we call the break point. Um, so Nick, if you just show us like a squat for me, we'll just go side on. What we want to make sure of is she doesn't do that butt wink, wink type thing. And so a lot of people, um, this sort of degree will be 90 degrees. So if she goes any lower than that, can you see that, what happened there? So if you come and, okay, have a look at this. She goes from, at, this is, she's also a little bit too extended at this point as well, which we're gonna fix as well. But when she drops lower, there, did, can you see how that opens up there? Now what she's doing, she's not even actually at 90 degrees yet, um, down here, there. Now at that point, she's actually rounded in here, which is bad for her disc bulge. So come back up again, because then she goes into extension, which sort of winks the butt there, and she comes up again. So for this one, for her, safety-wise, and for anyone who's got a disc bulge and wants to prevent any back pain, is you can't go below the point where you're gonna lose neutral spine. So at that point there, she can't go that low. Now for some people, they'll be able to go lower than that. They'll be able to go to right to 90 degrees because they've got heaps of range in their hip. They've got a really good core stability here. They don't lose any um, neutral spine. But for her, she needs to be very aware and look in the mirror about her position. So you see that, Nick? So if you come down again for me. So she needs to go to, whoa, go back up. And she needs to get used to where that position is, okay? Because if she goes any lower, she goes into flexion. She will then posteriorly bulge that disc and then re-injure herself. So she's got to work on that. The other thing she's got to work on is she loves being hyperextended here, right? So this position here needs to actually become a bit of neutral. Now, I don't mean go into flexion. I mean, she just needs to stay neutral. So she's got to really hold on anteriorly with her core there. And when she squats, she's got to keep that on. She wants to just tilt, she wants to tilt this pelvis like that to go into a squat because she wants to be hold her spine extension instead of going into flexion. But that goes really bad when she gets down the bottom. So she's got to learn, can I hold neutral in the spine and bend at the hips? So the hips have to go down and back. So try that for me, Nick. There you go, that's better. And then as she drops lower and lower and lower. She still has to watch her break point. So she keeps her neutral spine, which is so much harder, right? and then come back up with hip extension. So when she comes back up, she doesn't have to then tuck her bum under. It's actually a neutral. So the trick is start a neutral and go very slowly down, extending the hips backwards and down into that position. Then she maintains a neutral. Don't go below that break point and wink the butt. And then when she comes back up, she's got not allowed to extend and then she comes back to neutral. And that's hard to practice. And she's just doing with body weight at the moment because it's, if you try and put heaps of weight on there, she's going to one, go into her old pattern, but she's also just gonna load the spine, which we don't want, okay? So for her, it's gonna be really hard for her to try and try that again with a bar. It's gonna try, it's gonna be hard for her to do a back squat in that position because, if you go around this way again, if she tries to do a back squat, what happens is you tend to extend through your spine like that. So she's gonna find it quite hard to keep a neutral when she goes down. So you try that for me. Yeah, she's gonna find it. See, that? did you see that? So she went straight into extension at that point there. Come back up again. So I don't really like this for knee pain. So you wouldn't elevate someone's heels if you had patellofemoral pain, you wouldn't do that. But for her, what we can do as long as those feet are apart, she keeps her knees apart, we can elevate her heels to help her with her spinal position when she squats with the intention that you're gonna take these plates away at some point, okay? And especially if she has knee pain, we're not gonna use them. But now try that for me, and you'll find that she is able to maintain a better form. There's that butt wink you saw again. So let's try that again. This is where hands-on helps a little bit. So neutral, she sits down and back, hold, hold, woo, and then come back up. And I'm just guiding her with my hands to try and keep her at neutral, making her bend of the hips the most. Try again for me, see if you can do that by yourself. And she's a little bit too upright, do you see that? So we've got to try and get her angles of her upper body the same as her shin. 
Okay, so try that again for me. Forward more with upper body. That's a bit better, we're getting there. Whoop, and then come back up and bum in. Yeah, okay, so this is how we learn to try and get a better and better squat. What I would do with her though, to make things even better, is use doing a front squat. So front squats are hard with a bar, so we're better to probably start off with a kettlebell. There you go. Now that's 10 kilos. With her disc problem, 10, yeah. Her disc problem, 10 kilos is okay. I probably wouldn't go to 20 at this stage. Just straighten your feet up for me, Nick. Yep, that's it. All right, so from here, because the weight's in the front, she can then concentrate on what's going on with her spine here. So try that again. So neutral spine, sit back, hold, push back up, bum forward. So make sure you don't tuck the bum under, it's bum forward. So you, you extend the hip, go again for me. Good, and come back up. And again, she's maintaining still a quite an upright spine. We'll get that angle forward a little bit better as we go, but that's looking really good. Now, tips for her is to, so she can see what she's doing, she needs to then go side on to the mirror and see her own spine and make sure that's all correct. But that's great. Okay. Okay, we've practiced a little bit. So show us again what you need to do. And she's using now the mirror side on. And what she's getting is way better technique now when she watches it. And now she's got that perfect angle of back and shin together. She's got her knees wide, okay? She's got her feet parallel, knees wide. She doesn't want to be like this. Okay, go again. And she's worked out how to not butt wink and keep a neutral spine, not be too upright, keep it forward a bit. But also she's worked out how to not extend here. She's worked out how to extend the hips and keep the spine in neutral. So she's, before she was sort of sitting her bum outwards, now she's holding here, and now she's worked out that you can bend here and bend here. Squat down for me. And those are the two points of pivot. And then this will naturally come down, and then you've got that perfect alignment there. And yes, we're up on a plate, as you go up again. And when she's looking left, it's really hard to hold a weight. So you practice with a mirror with no weight, so you're not sort of wrecking your neck with the weight. And then as you get the form right, then you can add the weight. As you get better core stability, better awareness of hip pinch here, take the plates away.